Hey Rays of Sunshine, it's Evelina of Evergreen Art Dolls and welcome back to the channel. So today I have a box opening and I know I've been MIA for a while. It's been really hectic in my personal life. Just had a lot going on and just trying to keep up with dolls at the same time. So I'm sorry about that, but I've just been super, super busy. But I had a minute today to do this box opening with you guys and I'm really excited about it. Um, I wanted to do a collection video of my clay dolls, but then I realized that I don't have that many and that's just because um, we had moved and a lot got damaged um, during that damage during the move. So I wasn't able to, um, you know, I got rid of some as well and just kind of decided I didn't really want to collect a bunch of clay dolls anymore or sculptures just because they are so fragile and delicate. So I've been collecting more, you know, the cloth dolls and vinyl and silicone and all that right now. But, um, but yeah, these are the three that I did um, salvage and ones that I just could not get rid of. Um, those are the ones sitting um, that you see right here, these three. And um, I just wanted to open this other box up that is from, um, I actually forget the shop right now, but I was on Etsy the other day and it's an artist that I've seen like a lot of her work on social media and I've always wanted to get a piece from her, but just never got around to it or I've never seen something that, you know, I just really had to, had to have and I felt like treating myself to a little something, something. So I decided to get this little cutie that's in here, but it is another clay doll sculpture and since I only have three I figured you know adding one more wouldn't be um, a big deal because I have a little uh, tiny shelf that I sit these on so let's go ahead and open this up I already took off the address on the top of it but let's go ahead and see what's in here And you guys, with the holidays coming up as well, um, I'm gonna be extra busy, but I'm still gonna try to make a little bit of time now that things have calmed down um, in my personal life a little bit. Um, start getting back to making some of these videos. So, and I think we have just like a little invoice there and some fluffies. Oh, how cute. Alright, so it's Gail's Fantasy Babies. One of a kind polymer clay miniatures, fairies, babies, mermaids, angels, elves, dragons, unicorns. I haven't seen any of her other creatures, I don't believe, but um. Yeah, let's see. It is going to be a fairy. I'll go ahead and give you guys that. You guys know I love fairies and anything that like sort of fantasy that fits into my little garden theme. Right. Teeny tiny little box. Think there's anything else in here I'll just move this out of the way all right so we have some more little fluffies and there it is <laughs> it's so cute oh she's so cute Oh my goodness, it's even cuter in person. You guys, look at how sweet. Oh my goodness. If you follow me, um, whether on my um, Instagram or uh, the rest of my social media, my Facebook, you guys know that I love the fantasy creatures and this little thing is adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, she's so cute. And she signed the little booty, I believe. A little marking right there, a little birthmark. And these wings are so beautiful. Like, look at how detailed they are. I'm pretty sure her wings are handmade as well. So that's, that's always so cool, a little bit of fluff. There, but those are the wings. And she has a little flower, a little tiara, and just glued on hair. 
Oh my goodness, so cute. And just the perfect size, like she fits right into like kind of like the same scale as this little dragon here and um, my little Navi Inspire baby there. But yeah, super sweet, super cute. I'm really glad. Like I said, I just wanted to treat myself to something cute. I haven't been really um, doing a lot of doll shopping. So um, when I saw this little cutie pop up. Oh, and it's also like a different... Um, skin color she usually makes the ones you know i'm pretty sure she used like a sculpey super sculpey clay i might may be wrong but um but yeah this one i just love the skin tone the darker skin tone that it has so that makes her a little bit um different i love her um like golden brown eyes are so cute Oh, she's so cute. I'm so happy. Okay, so I got that little cutie, and then I just kind of wanted to go ahead, since I didn't have a video dedicated to a clay doll collection, because like I said, I don't have many clay dolls anymore, I decided to go ahead and um, show these little cuties off. Um, so this one is a little dinky dragon. Um, I have the cards out here. So this is made by Laura Sheehan. And um, so she um, does dinky dragons. I think she does other little critters sometimes, but um, mostly dragons, just all different kinds of like themes and colors. And um, yeah, she so, she's really creative, like just really does a lot of different, different things with her dragons that make each one really unique and one of a kind. So this is the one that I saw. Like I said, all of her stuff is super cute, but this was the one that I really wanted and I was glad that I was able to get it. Um, you can probably see one of the little, um, this one got a little damage in the move as well and a little like petal broke off of her, but um, I don't think it's too noticeable. So I just still was able to salvage her and I think she's just so pretty cute she's one of my favorite colors you know the pink and green that I have in my studio so I was like I really need to get this little cutie so just so mythical and fantasy fantasy theme so so much detail that she put into this And she even makes the eyes are pretty and sparkly. But yeah, so there is my dinky dragon. And like I said, here is her card with her um, Facebook on there. And um, she's on Instagram as well, I think. I could be wrong, but I'll try to link um, all the ways to find these artists um, in the description below. So just look there. All right, so there is my little dinky dragon. And then, um, so this is actually the very first um, Navi inspired baby. This is what I was doing before I did silicone dolls. I was making just the clay sculptures. Um, I really got into this whole, um, all, all my doll making basically because of the little avatar dolls in um, baby climb I'll make another video of how I got started with my um, with my business but basically I started off just making these little cuties because I wanted one for myself but then um, so I couldn't afford one a silicone version so I just started making ones out of clay and they were really popular and allowed me to be able to sell them and get the money to make silicone ones and as you can see this one did also um, get a little damaged but I tried to repair the best I could but I just felt like I'd keep her because she kind of just reminds me of where I started from and she's just super sweet and super cute so yeah, I just put like a little flower on her hair and she's painted with acrylic paints. And I added like the little tuft of hair on her tail and her little like sort of mohawk right there. But yeah, so this is the first Navi Inspire baby that I ever made. And yeah, I'm really glad I was able to keep one because I sold like all the other ones, but there she is all sleepy like super sweet so there she is and then I um, also have this one out here um, this is the fairy maker um, one of the fairy makers creations. so I believe they're based in it's somewhere in the UK um, let's see if it has it on these cards um, fairymaker.com 
it's somewhere out in the UK, I believe. Like, I know it was international. It's not in the US, but I saw this a while ago and definitely needed to get one. Um, in the future, I'd love to be able to... She had a book that came along with this. I couldn't find the book, um, but it's a book that came along with it, like a children's book. And I really would love to get into that in the future. I love writing and um, like illustrations. I love to draw as well. So she has her own um, little book with her illustrations and little fairy story in there so I thought that was really cool so I made sure to get me one so the she has two cards that she came with so the fairy maker this card right here and then this is all her social media if you guys can see and check her out there and this is her other little card and I think that actually is her daughter if I'm not mistaken but um congratulations on owning a magical fairy jar and becoming a keeper of fairies and that's kind of what the book was about um, these magical little be beings uh, like to be left undisturbed and out of direct sunlight they are able to leave their jar at any time but they will always make sure humans never see the fairy maker so I think that's really cute I always love when like dolls and sculptures and things come with little stories so I should have showed you guys before I showed you the card but with this little kind of burlap top and then it has this little engraved fairy maker like a little piece of wood wood tag on it I love little fine details like that and then this is the jar that she comes in she's a sleeping fairy and I got her in a like a darker like chocolate skin tone um, she started offering the darker skin tones not too long ago really careful with her but there she is sleeping cute and peacefully so, and she also makes all different kinds like different skin tones different colors you know for the wings and the clothing and some of them are even more detailed with lots more clothing and like stockings or um, like more intricate dresses longer hair they come just all different kinds of styles which I love because that way if anyone wants to get them for like as a gift or something you can make the fairy look like that person so I think that's really sweet and she's just so cute and tiny so so yeah there she is and that again is from the fairy maker she just looks super sweet in her little jar And I actually just love how tiny she is because she seems just like really realistic because fairies are usually known to be very like small and miniature so it gives you that like realistic feel. So there's my little fairy from the fairy maker. So if any of y'all are interested in getting your own little clay creation, I really love them. They're, they're able to get a lot of detail put into them just really cute little sculptures and things to like put on your desk or um, decorate a like a shelf with in your room just super cute like I said I just don't have that many because they are so delicate and are fragile if they're dropped or handled harshly so that's the only reason I don't have a whole like bunch of them anymore but um, I'm glad I got this little cutie and so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said I plan on coming back with a lot more content um, again Again and you know getting back into the groove of things so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure to follow me on social media I'll link everything below in the description and yeah make sure to like and subscribe if you like this content so thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll see you in the next one bye